All right. So what I've done is I took the inside dimensions of a natural queen cell using a pair of calipers, and it came out to just over a quarter of an inch. So I whittled, whittled me a stick to that same dimensions. Got me a line marked on there just for reference. I've uh, been soaking it in water. So it's uh, nice and wet and cold. Just dry it off there. Let's bring this over a little closer so you can see. Alright, so I just dip it in the wax up to the line. Went a little above it there, but it's alright. But again, pull it out, let it cool a little while, blow on it. Dip it again there, touch it on the side of the container to get that little droplet off. Might dip it one more time. Alright, wouldn't want to spill that. Cool it off with my water here. Right now, just to kind of twist it off. It's a little high because I dipped it in there a little too far the first time, but I can just kind of splay it out and fix it. Shouldn't hurt it at all. all right. So I've been making a few of these. You can see it few of them I've got here and what I'll do is I'll get the uh, larva of the correct age and I'll graft them into these little cups after I've glued them onto a bar and uh, hopefully I can make these into queen cells all right so now I've been sticking the queen cups onto this bar see there May not have the most efficient spacing, but this is the first time I've done this, and uh, I'm just kind of doing with uh, what looks about right. And if I get one of these to work, I'll be happy. <laughs> okay, so now originally the idea was to take a spoon and spoon a little bit of wax onto the bar and then stick the cup to the still molten wax. But I'll show you what happens when I put the spoon in the cup of wax. My wax, which is already pretty cold, it just kind of sticks to the spoon. It doesn't, I can't really pick it up very well. And so then what I did, just pulled it off. I was thinking, well, this is still pretty sticky. So I just kind of fold it up and knead it into a Got a little ball of still warm wax. Bring it over here. Press it onto the bar. And then while it's still warm and pliable, I go over here and grab one of the queen cups. And press it down into it. They're surprisingly strong, so I can actually press quite hard if I have to. But you know, nothing sticks better to warm wax than wax and there you go we'll clean it up a little bit it kind of sticks to your fingers there you go another little cup on the thing the bees will probably come by and make it look prettier yep I'm just going to continue this across and then after I make the I've queenless and uh, I've grafted some larvae in each of these. I'll just put it in there. Hopefully they'll make some uh, queen cells for me. And yes, I, I know I'm setting this on the stove. The, the fire's gone out and it's actually quite cold. You see my, my wax is actually solidifying. So I'm just about done here. I'll come back when I'm doing something else. Alright, so I've got this bar with my 12 queen cups on it, and I've modified this 3-frame nuke 
so that it can accept this uh, top bar frame. And I've got you know a good frame of honey here. I'm gonna have a this frame. It's got some pollen in it. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush a whole bunch of bees, probably four frames worth of bees off into here. So it'll have plenty of bees. And those bees will be queenless. And as soon as I graft some larvae into these cups, they'll start to uh, turn them into queen cells. Alright. So I'm going to take this over to the hive. And I'm going to brush off a frame of bees into here. And then I'm going to go take it to the other hive and see if I can get some eggs. Alright, I'm at the hive. I got this uh, nook box set here so that I can just shake the frames into there. See, I got a fabric uh, denim cover here just to help seal it. And uh, you probably can't see, but I've added some uh, water in along with this honey frame. Just give them a little bit of water so they're able to use that honey. This frame. I've got the pollen in there. Let me uh, set this one over on the side. Probably this one too. Oh, damn it. Okay. I just knocked it over. Probably lost a bunch of pollen. Oh, it's fine. Alright. Now, I'm just going to get some bees and uh, knock a couple frames of bees off into there. <laughs> Probably can't do this one-handed, so... Yeah, look, cows. <laughs> Alright, I can't really do this one-handed, so I'm going to have to... Probably just set the camera down. How's that? Yeah. Frames out. They moved back a little ways. Must have had cold weather. <laughs> Stuck the frames down. Ah, there they are. Hey, girls. Part of one. Nut. I guess it's a little cold and they don't like it, so I went ahead and took my jacket off just so they aren't so inclined to sting me. I'll also put this frame in there. Actually, no. Well, as I work slow, I should be able to get away with this. Just gotta look, make sure I don't have the queen on here. I'll know in a few minutes if I got the queen or not. I guess it really doesn't matter. Okay. Look 
Okay, girls. One more frame, probably. Notice this is the frame that broke off. It broke there, and they've built all this out. <laughs> all right. All right, girls, no stinging. <laughs> All right. That maneuver's done. Still recording? All right. All right, let's see. I'm gonna show you. Got a whole bunch of bees in there now. I'm gonna go ahead and slide these bars in so they got something to climb on. Kinda gotta be careful, there's not very much clearance between this bar and the floor of the box. Uh, there's a bee climbing up the back of my shirt. <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, tickles. Get out of there. Oh. Alright. Alright, honey bar. Uh, I can hear them. They know they're queenless already. Let's see if I can set this down without squishing any bees. Alright. I don't know how to do it. I probably squished a few, but. Alright, close this up so they can't get out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hear that roar. They're queenless. I can tell it already. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick these bees off the top of this so they don't get squished under the lid. And uh, that's pretty much it for this maneuver. I'll come back when I've got that done. All right, I got these all closed back up. And now I have a buzzing box here. You can hear the, the loud buzzing, which uh, tells me that they, they know that they're queenless. It only takes them a couple of minutes before they figure that out. I'll come back and check on this hive before I leave for town, just so I can make sure these guys aren't yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have a queen in here, but if I do, that's not going to be very good. So I'll double check a little later. Yeah, I'm just going to carry this back to the house. And uh, get ready to go over to the other hive. I'll, I'll put some, I'll put even more bees from the other, other hive in here. But, alright. Hey, 18. This is one of my cows here. She come over to see me. Hey there. Hey girl. We got a few cows. Up here on Saber Ranch. Alright. I'm going to take that hive over. Take it into Salt Lake. See you there. Alright, I just had an idea. 
I'm going to try to graft them like I was planning originally. But I'm also going to put a little piece of uh, regular honeycomb with just the eggs in it across here. Or maybe just uh, attach it to each one of these bars things. That way, you know, if I'm no good at grafting, I'll still have some chance at uh, getting some viable queen cells. Plus it makes a neat way to set it up. I just stuck it on, just stuck them on there with some wax like I did the cells. And it holds pretty good. Alright. So, um, yeah, I keep saying I'm going to go. I'm, I'm heading out. <laughs> Alright, I'm here at the Salt Lake Hive. You can see there's bees going in and out of the entrance, so... And the, the weather's a lot nicer on this side of the valley. So I shouldn't have any trouble doing this, even though it's 530. <laughs> Make sure these guys made it okay. I ended up putting tacks in the fabric here because the weight of the bees, they were grabbing onto it and it was pulling it down. Yeah, they're, they're all right. I may have to thump them down to the bottom so I can get, the, get more bees in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, set this right here and I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna get in there, find eggs. Uh, let's see if I can do this. There's some alfalfa coming up. That's good. Alright, what we got here? There's no bees up here. I'm just going to go ahead and take this box off then. I forgot my hive tool. I wonder if I should go get it. You know what? I'm going to need my hive tool. I don't have my pocket knife with me. So let's just set this here. I'm going to cut the video while we get it. Alright, I'm back. Went and got my hive tool. I keep meaning to bring this. And I think I'll just leave the lid right there. Crack them loose. That's ah, so much easier. Right. Look, these. Let's see what we got here. Definitely see a mixture of the types of bees they mixed just fine didn't they all right I think my best bet is to go on this end Ooh, better not blow on them it's a little cold they're a little bit jumpy wonder if I should have left that lid over here so I could cover them a little bit. Ah, the frames are stuck. Glad I brought I got this tool. Alright, I'm gonna have to put down the camera. I'm not gonna be able to get in with just one hand. Alright, I found the queen. You can see her right there trying to run away from me. You can see her right here. So I know where she's at. Unfortunately, this is the frame that's got the right aged larva on it. Let me look in some of these cells. Maybe I can just cut a piece out since I know where she's at. It looks like her wings clipped. That's interesting. I mean, she can't fly. Good to know. I guess I don't have to worry too much about them swarming. Hmm. 
You see they're kind of itchy about me being around the queen here. Probably letting her get too cold. How about I just take a different frame? I think that's what I'll do. I'm just going to put this one back and take one of the others. They're kind of getting cold. Yeah, see what they're doing there. Kind of trying to attack my watch. I think this is the side I had it on. All right, I'm gonna put down the camera again. This is kind of hard to do. Okay, I got me a frame. I'm gonna go ahead and put the box back on top of the hive, and I'm gonna get to work. Queen's not on top. This is probably a boring bit. I might cut it out. Or not. Okay. Oh, okay. B just flipped my nose. Let's see what we got here. I kind of want to put these bees into this box so I can have even more bees inside of it. Let's see what I can do. Got my little brush. Set the camera right there. Get the brush. There you go. Yep. Actually, stump them first. I hate doing this. Necessary though. Oh dear. Didn't really work. No getting out. No, stay down. <laughs> like, I ain't listening to you. Almost done. I don't know how much the camera's getting.
think I'm gonna have to add a few to the sting count. All right. I'm gonna call that sufficient. I'll get out of my ear. Seriously, get out of my ear. All right. All right, now I gotta be quick. I don't wanna get these cold. So I'm gonna take this to my car where it's still kinda warm. Uh, all right, definitely not gonna be able to do this one-handed, so. All right, I'm back in the car where it's fairly warm. No, the camera's pointing, there we go. All right. I now know why more people hasn't filmed themselves doing this on YouTube. It's kind of a lot of work to film and do this at the same time. But, see yeah, I'm just looking through this frame here. Trying to see where the correct age larvae are. I seem to have misplaced my uh, grafting tool I made. Couldn't have gone far. Oh, I'm sitting on it. No, maybe not. Yeah, let me let me pause the video. All right, I found it. Turns out I was sitting on it. Ooh, careful! I got a beehive sitting right there, person. All right, so there it is. Just a little hook on the end of a piece of copper wire. Didn't really feel like buying an actual tool. Let's see, I've got a little bit of sunlight still. Let's see if I can reach in there and pick up one of these larvae. Uh, Alright, I, I can't really see it very well, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut me a piece of comb out. So I can work with it better. Oh, I forgot there's wires. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just cutting me a patch of comb out. Yeah, somebody wired this really good. All right. Alright, I'm going to put down the camera so I can work. I need to do this kind of quickly. Alright, so I got this. I don't know if you can see. I've got it the trimmed down so I can work with the comb easier. And you can't see on the camera, but I've got some little crescent-shaped grubs inside of most of these cells right here. I'm debating on whether I should just stick this inside or if I should try grafting. I'll uh, see what I end up doing. Come back. All right. Next time I do this, I promise I'll have somebody filming me. But I'm just reaching in here with my little hooked wire. Get a hold of the little little grub that's sitting in a pool of royal jelly. Just come in from behind it on the crescent. I lift it out. Take it over here and just kind of drop it in the bottom of one of these cells. Hmm, I think I. There you go. Clean that off. Alright. See if I can get another one here. It definitely helps to cut the cells down shorter. The paper kind of gets in the way though. The torn paper. 
All right, let's see if I can get another one. There we go. Just tipped over the bar. Come on. Yeah, there we go. It's actually quite easy. Easier than I thought it would be at least. This one might be too old, but I'm going to take it anyway. <laughs> Seeing the little things are is not trivial. Yeah, I just messed that one up. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can still salvage it. Oh, yeah, let's try that. Alright, I might have flipped it over. I'm not sure though. I guess I'll know if there's a queen cell there or not, right? You see, the little grubs have got air holes on one side, and so you don't want to flip them over, because if you flip them over, then they'll drown. Hmm. I missed. Oh, yeah, I just killed it. one come here oh, they're so hard uh, yeah <laughs> all right I'm going to go ahead and do this other side because I think I either killed or moved all the ones on that side. <laughs> oh no, the paper. Paper picks up uh, all the things and ruins it. I would definitely recommend not using old comb if possible. Alright, there's two of them exposed there. Hopefully I'm not drying them out or something. Here we go. Now I see why the commercial one's got a little plunger to help push the push it off your thing. They are kind of hard to get off the hook. There's one. All right. Yeah, there's actually quite a few of them in this little piece of wax that I cut out. There's another. Okay. Yeah, 
I've already got most of my bar filled. Awesome. Cut this rest of the thing open. Like I said, if I end up with just one of them that works, I'll be pretty happy. It's the first time I've ever tried this. Alright. Yep, cameras probably. This is probably just an audio thing by now. Alright, my camera's out of memory, so I better be quick. I've got all of these with a little tiny larva inside of it. I'm going to go ahead and cut out two more pieces of uh, comb to put on top of these, just in case none of these work. And uh, I can't film very much, so see you when I'm done. Alright, here we are. I ended up breaking the sticks off by accident, and so I ended up just uh, sticking the piece of comb onto the ends here. This one I cut off all the pieces. This one I left, just left alone. You can see the three places I cut out right there. So each of these has got a little worm in it. And I'm gonna go throw this in the hive as soon as I can. See these little guys are hatching out. I probably need to go put this, I'm gonna go put this back in the hive also. So I'll, I'll do that. All right, here's the hive. I put it right next to the car so I could get to it fast. See the bees are pulling the thing down again. Right, I'm going to go ahead and put this bar in. Oh uh, yeah, there's lots of bees in here. I'm glad I put that little screw in there. Alright. It's in. I need to go get those stakes to help with this. That's it. That's it right there. Whether it's going to work or not has already been decided now. Whew. Now I got to decide what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm. I kind of want to just take it in put it in my room with me so I can keep an eye on it. I don't know if my roommates would like that or not. So I might just put it. Alright, so this is how I got them set up. Put some hay bales around them. The bees seem to be coming out and then flying away and then not coming back. So I probably should have put a, a candy plug or something in there. At least some of them are coming, going back in. It'll get dark and I probably won't lose too many. Yeah, they should be nice and warm and cozy in there. And I'll come back on Tuesday. See how it's doing.